I'm embarrassed. It's been a long time since I felt shame of this kind. It's different to being embarrassed by someone or turning red because someone picked up a moment of ignorance. It's purely sexual embarrassment. Are you itchy somewhere? You seem to be. You seem to be enjoying this even more than usual today. It kind of bugs me how a font seems to get squashed into a side of things. It looks like you seem to be enjoying this even more than usual. My eyes can't help but linger on her skin. So brilliantly white, she wouldn't think she was Japanese. Then. I'm not particularly visible under her usual robes, but I can, can't take my eyes off the two obvious protrusions underneath the bath towel. I really are something. Well, in general, Sister Basket tends to remind me of my sister. This is one area where she doesn't. All of them in my family are slender and flat chested. Perhaps because I'm getting to talk to you more than usual. A full breast jiggle as she washes my legs and I hurriedly avert my gaze. I'm used to this. At home, my two elder sisters help me bathe, and after entering the academy, a task for all into Sister Basket. At first, I felt embarrassment, but since it's an act of care, the shame had disappeared. After the first two or three baths, or at least it should have. Oh, was I being a bit too rough? Yeah. That's just right. Really? I've gotten good at this. Because it's Dori Takasaki, I become self-conscious again. I had a little sigh, hoping to dispel some of my ardour. You're being very thorough today. Well, since we got a little early, I thought we could be thorough. We are girls, after all. Sure. Each year group has a set time period in which to use a bath. Because of my disability, though, I bathe before everyone else. We don't exactly have to rush. We can't take our time either. Sorry you have to do this. Oh, aren't you meek today? She smiles brightly, her golden hair, usually covered up by a habit, flutters about. I find myself captivated by it. Since we're being all honest with each other, may I ask you something? What would that be? Why did you make Takasaki my amity partner? I turn my gaze from Sister Basket's hair to her gentle golden eyes. I stare straight into mine, I can see read what's written in them. Right. So that I learn how to rely on others. A smile spreads across her lips and my words. That's part of it, but I also thought you two might be compatible. To be honest, I don't think we are. That's so. You're both really so quite similar. I was about to shut out my objection, but the look on her face stops me. Expression tells me she really does believe what she's saying. I sigh. Feels like all I've been doing today. Oh, you're so cute. If I was a student, I'd want to be your amity partner. That's a forward answer, but she she would of course say that. It's probably a thought that just popped into her head, but it doesn't feel right to hear those words under those circumstances. Personally, I prefer to be by myself. End up giving a non committal response and steal a glance at Sister Basket. So, I see. It's even more objective than I thought you'd be. Sorry, but uh, she's not a type just to be so forward like that. I mean, she, she'd be cute if she was, but that's just cute enough as it is. Uh, um, um. Huh? I thought I wouldn't want you as my partner, it's just that I'm. Uh, I think we're individualist and, uh, There's not a there's something wrong with me. Uh, of, of course not. With those words of consolation, she puts her hand to her chest and lets out a sigh of relief. She might not she might be even more troublesome to deal with than I thought. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, regarding what you said about preferring to be alone. Yeah. It's not just a matter of your care. It'd be good for you to take, make a friend you can open up to. I don't think that's going to happen with Takasaki. Or anyone, for that matter. Well, since you're amity partner now, that's what I'm hoping to see anyway. I 
I look at the reflection in the mirror. Perhaps you could bring in a little water as to what I said? She smiles at me. I think her hopes are misplaced. Takisaki sits out in front of me, silently eating breakfast. Yesterday, she'd received instructions on how to assist me from Sister Basket, but to be honest, despite her nodding dutifully for the in front of a teacher, I thought she'd ignore the obligation that came down to it. However, first thing in the morning, she got me up and offered me to help me dress like it was the most natural thing in the world. When I turned her down, she waited patiently for me to get ready. Then she helped me get from my bed into a wheelchair, just as Sister Basket had demonstrated. Right here. I'll go bring breakfast. With that, she leaves the usual haughty look on her face. Then... So, it's bed breakfast, is it? We end up eating breakfast together, just the two of us. Since breakfast is basically a buffet, everything we're having was chosen by Takasaki. Toast with lashings of honey and fluffy scrambled eggs. Sounds nice, actually. Seaweed salad with crew bacon, tantalising array of food. Please see where's more than just a basket usually brings for me. You're talking first bread for breakfast or rice. Ah, that look of yours makes me think you're a cereal kind. Wow, you do look non-Japanese. Can you not eat without talking? It was a joke, a joke. I was poking fun at you for eating nothing but salad all the time. Her portion is so small, I wonder if it could possibly be enough to fill her up. This colourful arrangement on a plate, but it's mostly consists of lettuce, tomatoes, and I'm sceptical about whether or not sustain it until lunchtime. Hey, are you a vegetarian or something? Asking this, I pop my pill into my mouth and swallow it, down with some cold water. It's the one I take before meals. I stuff a slightly sinus bacon been looking forward to my mouth. It tastes like bliss. Takasaki's practically glaring at me as I chow down on my meat, which has just cut to the right thickness for me. No. I'm trying not to eat anything but salad. Even if she's not a vegetarian. I guess she has to maintain a figure so as a celebrity. I don't think I could ever live a celebrity life eating is one of my few pleasures. It really would be tough to part with. I feel like this is almost silly. I bite into my honey toast. Sun swallows over a dining table for a while. Whilst Takasaki is eating a boring salad, I turn my attention to, to my as yet untouched scrambled eggs. They're cooked to perfection with fresh cream and mixed with beaten eggs. Take a big forkful and eat up without any awful condiments like tomato ketchup to sully it. Fresh cream adds a hint of sweetness to butter to moderate things of salt. Eat around in a circuit of bread, bacon, scrambled egg, and salad. Before long, my plate is empty. You see, I get the bread, I get the bacon, I get the eggs. I mean, I generally prefer omelette, to be honest. But I don't really see salad as a breakfast thing. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but... Not really for me. And also... Sweet corn in a... Is that sweet corn in a salad? Because it almost looks like little baby chicks. I'm only 80% full, but that's just a white breakfast. I'll take the plates. Because I've taken my time, Takasaki finished eating before me. She now, she now leans forward and stacks her plate on top of mine. As she leans, I catch a scent of peaches. I must get the scent so the room itself is starting to soak it up. Are you ready for when I get back? Huh? Put your textbooks in your bag, it's almost time for lessons. A perfectly ordinary classroom scene. That's how a majority of students here at the Academy would no doubt respond if you asked them what was going on right now, as they sit down at a desk for the first period. However, this isn't normal for me. I gaze out of a classroom window, only to be blinded by the summer sunlight shining down on me. The clouds are scullying by quickly, thinking maybe in for a shower. At this time, I'd typically read, be reading a book back in my room. Takasaki must have assumed that I normally attend class. Although I suggested self study in my room, she seemed to take it as a joke and drag me along to a classroom without taking no for an answer. 
My classmates were surprised to see me there for a second day running. I thought I perhaps she'd pick up on it from my reactions, but it doesn't seem like Takaha Takasaki is on the ball. Takes me over to my desk, sits down in my own seat, and starts preparing for lessons. And now this is where things have ended up. Taking my eyes away from the clouds, I pretend to be buried in my textbooks as I watch Takasaki read out a sentence in English. John took a trip to a long, long trip. It turned out that it is a journey accompanied by pain severely, but he chose to take a trip. That was an adorable sentence. She reads the passage out falteringly, probably John is setting on a journey. Seems like she's not very good at English. Well, celebrities like don't probably don't have much time for studying. My theory is there is no returned. Not in second period maths, or third part period physics. Seems like her grades on the lower end of average. Average at best, however. She's anything but. After completing some basic bar exercises, we move on to the floor to practice. Takasaki begins her centre work. She moves from her port de bras, or arm movement exercises, to her battlement, tanned exercises, at work with the legs. Back to practicing her chantement. She starts practicing her pirouettes, the spins that first come to mind when you hear the word ballet. If you're a layman like me. She turns on a spot, her posture never faltering as though held by strings suspended from the ceiling. Which is really good. And beside me, a present who's been enthusiastically running me through each move, breathes a sigh of admiration. I do understand a certain amount without any explanation. My older sister happened to do ballet, and I somehow remember a bit of a lingo. By my protest, she dragged me out to watch her practice, saying it would be good for me to get out of the house. She made me go along for recitals. I don't really have any eye for this kind of thing. Which is obviously way beyond the level of regular old ballet classes. Huh? Do you have a question? I point to Takasaki and address the president who's been explaining things to me as though I'm a complete novice. Thing around the race is called a tutu, right? The way it wiggles around is quite titillating. Ah, what are you talking about? That's not a tutu, it's a regular skirt. I meant to force a change of subject, but the truth is I'm captivated by Takasaki. I can't look straight at her without prattling on like this. Right now, her eyes, usually so cold, seem filled with an earnest light. It's really difficult to keep turning like that without shifting a central point of your rotation. I can imagine. Oh, that's all I can do. Oh. Been a throwaway comment without any deeper meaning, but her presence showed a slump in it and an exaggerated display of gloom. Ah, uh, probably putting it there. Since recently been talking with Takasaki, I respond to my self deprecation with biting retorts. I'd run my mouth without thinking. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It's not such a depressing topic, really. Hey, Prez, what's that move called? Oh, well, that's a chain turn. Oh, so you dance in very brisk rhythm, don't you? The quick steps of a shane are quite beautiful. You exactly have a mark, Yagaki-san. She smiles at me and I'm a little relieved. It's plain to have to perform worrying all the time. And to conclude, this is a grand valse. To end her reverence. She performs a grand valse, compiling a, a grand jet leaps and pirouettes before coming to land perfectly on the floor. Then, oh, I've seen that. Reverence, the bow or curtsy at the end of a performance. What? It's a display of respect. Huh? Been a while since we saw that as well. In my guise as a total novice, I nod admiringly at her knowledge. Takasaki gracefully extends her arms as she bows, while our classmates watch unenviously. Although she's known to be an eccentric, it doesn't look like there's anything too outside of box when it comes to her dancing. We are simply beautiful. It really is completely captivating. <laughs> she 
She looks at me with that haughty glare of hers again. What will you dance next? Right now, I don't even mind it. I mean, this time, though, only when she's performing. At the sound of a noisy banging, I put a book I'm reading and way towards a processing door. Now, by the disturbance, I don't like the door and open it, and the other side is. Oh, you took your time. My amity partner behaving like a usual strange self. Hands are full, so I must have been banging on the door of her foot. Looks like you bought exactly what I ordered. Well done, well done. In my way banter, she slips briskly past me with trays of lunch rings in her hand. The scent of peaches tickles my nose. I'm annoyed at myself for thinking what a nice fragrance it is. Take exactly gracious slays to the food of the table. And then, I am episode. Bye bye.